1961, the New York Yankees were still the Bronx Bombers, and Roger Maris led the way. To set the stage, the voice of the Yankees, Young Mel. Wise baseball men had predicted greatness for Roger Maris. But it was not until the 1961 season that Maris fulfilled this promise of greatness that he had begun to show the year before. As you walked up to the plate each time after you passed 55 and you hit 56, what were the thoughts going through your mind? Did you, did you think at all about Babe Ruth? Did you, did you think he was peeking at you over the fence every time you got up there? Well, not really, Mel. I don't think I've uh, really had Mr. Ruth on my mind at the time. I was trying to hit the ball and hit it solid. And, of course, uh, let's face it, when you get... Uh, to a point where you know you're real close to something, you're going to try and gun for it. And uh, I think that's where a little bit of pressure might mount up as far as you and the pitcher are concerned, because the pitcher knows you're trying to do it, and of course you know you're trying to do it. And between the two of you, you're not getting together. He's not giving you too much to hit at, and you're swinging at bad balls. <laughs> Yankee Stadium was the site of the season's final game on October 1st against Boston. In the fourth inning of a scoreless contest, Maris came to bat for the second time against Tracy Stafford. Here's the windup. Fastball hits deep to right. It's going be it. Way back there. Oh, he's now in it. He's to Maris. Look at that ball out there. Holy cow. What a shot. Another standing ovation for Roger Maris. And they want Maris to come out and take another bow. He does. And if his teammates are pushing him out there, he wants to get down, they won't let him. And I was trying to catch that ball because some guy out in California had offered five or ten thousand dollars if anybody uh, got the baseball that Roger hit his 61st home run with. A Brooklyn teenager named Sal Durante was the lucky fan who caught Roger's historic home. Well, I knew it was going over my head. I jumped on my seat right away. Jumped right up on the seat, reached as high as I can go, and right in. Oh, forget it. I, I didn't know what happened. Well, and I was screaming, John was screaming. We didn't know what. Then the security guards came and they took him, and I kept saying, Where's he going without me? I didn't know anything, you know, I didn't know what was going on. It was obvious that we had to, we had to get that baseball. It was obvious that we had to identify it, and you know, we were going to make something of this, of this event. They wouldn't let me take the ball out of Yankee Stadium. Okay. And so I agreed to put my initials on the baseball. And that's the way I left it until I went to Sacramento to meet Roger. And uh, we did a publicity stunt there. He was supposed to meet me in Sacramento and exchange the ball. The restaurant owner would give me the 5,000, I would give him the ball, and in turn he'd give Maris the ball as a gift. That's what you call being in the right place at the right time. Fate smiled on Maris and Durante that day. And that's all for now, folks. See you next week on This Week in Baseball. <laughs>